so let's play this interesting game uh, take 100 random cities um, you can go to wikipedia and you can find a list of 100 random cities right find uh, their area in square kilometers and uh, find out which number occurs the most as the starting digit of this now if you really want your mind to be blown away find out their areas in square miles instead of square kilometers and you will find the number that occurs at the first digit uh, the most is still the same how is that possible let's find out So if you did a little exercise um, of finding out those uh, digits with which the area of the city starts, if you haven't, I would say you can pause the video and actually go and do that. You'll find out uh, a very interesting uh, pattern that most of those numbers, they start with the uh, number one. Okay. And why does it happen? Uh, it happens because of uh, a law, a mathematical law known as the Benford's law. Now, before we talk more about the Benford's law, let's understand a little more about its effects in fact. So if you uh, were to find out instead of the um, area of those cities, if you take 100 uh, random cities and you find out their population, you will find out that most of them have a population that starts with the number one as well. Okay. And these days we have this um, coronavirus pandemic on as well. So if you go at uh, go and look at the total number of cases in uh, different different uh, cities or in different countries and you find out the digit with which that starts you will find a lot of them start with one as well okay and why does that happen so that's what's defined by uh, this uh, law which formally is known as the law of anomalous numbers uh, which was given by Benford so it's also called as the Benford's law and it's a really interesting law which basically states um, this that uh, this is the distribution table of uh, the you know uh, the law which shows that um, the if you take a set of numbers and what kind of numbers we are talking about we'll just discuss you can't just take any set of numbers but with certain sets of numbers if you take them and you plot the distribution of the first digit with which that number starts you'll find out the probability of uh, that uh, number starting with the digit one is pretty high uh, it's 30 percent and uh, with the number two is around you know uh, 17 percent and with number three it's uh, 12 percent and then it keeps going down okay and you can verify uh, this uh, pattern with a lot of natural set of numbers now why does that really happen uh, let's uh, talk about that uh, in fact uh, but before that, let's uh, talk about a lot of, uh, you know, applications that this law actually has. So, in fact, uh, I uh, saw this, uh, you know, TV show recently called uh, Ozark. And then uh, there was this movie, uh, The Accountant. I don't know if you might have seen this movie called The Accountant. It's a nice movie. Uh, it's an autistic person who is an accountant. And uh, he finds out that there is a certain fraud that's going on in a company. And he finds that out uh, by seeing that the, the size of the transactions, uh, he plotted them out and he sees that they don't follow the Benford's law. And uh, if they don't follow the Benford's law, then it might have been somebody has created some random numbers and have generated them. If somebody has created random numbers and they have not generated it as per Benford's law, then uh, it uh, can actually help in finding out financial frauds. And the similar thing is shown in uh, this Netflix show called Ozark, where uh, Ozark goes on to, you know, uh, find out uh, some, you know, fraudulent dealings in, in uh, the financials of a cartel okay okay so now, it seems interesting right uh, that we can use this uh, law to be able to find out financial fraud mm -hmm. and in fact in a lot of countries uh, Benford's law has been used in court uh, to prove uh, frauds in uh, transactions and in uh, you know market fraud and all of those things now um, let's understand what kind of numbers actually follow the Benford law and uh, why this law exists so if you look at a naturally growing uh, set of values, so for example, the growth of population or the growth of coronavirus cases, uh, they usually happen in an exponential pattern rather than a linear pattern. Um, the, that's pretty natural because population uh, growth, you know, one person goes on to make two and then and like that. So uh, similarly with the infection, you know, uh, people give the infection to more than one person. So the growth is uh, exponential in nature. And if the growth is exponential in nature, uh, then we generally come up with something called the doubling rate. So doubling rate is the number of days it takes for a certain value to double. Okay. Now let's consider uh, some numbers. So for example, if we go from uh, the number 10 to the number 19, uh, that is uh, what? That's basically a 90% increase, right? But if we go from uh, the number, uh, you know, 90 to the number uh, 99, 
that's only a 10% increase okay so if uh, something uh, is growing at the rate of 10% every day correct uh, now uh, when it grows from 10 to 19 for nine days the value would start with the digit one so it will be 10 then you know it will increase 10 percent and then it will increase 10 percent so for uh, you know of course it will not uh, take nine days to become 90 percent because there's exponential uh, cumulative growth as well but for four or five days the value will actually start with one uh, compared to that uh, when the value reaches 90 and if it grows 10 percent it immediately becomes 99 and then the next day it's uh, going to be a value that starts with one again right so uh, that's the interesting part uh, so num numbers which uh, start with one uh, when they are growing at uh, a certain rate they remain starting with one for a longer period of time than numbers that are starting with a higher digit so that's why the distribution graph uh, becomes of that format now uh, these uh, this benford law is only applicable to uh, distributions that grow in a natural way they don't uh, apply to some other kind of distributions for example if you look at the you know if you have a database and in the database you have uh, like ids so for example if we have create transaction ids okay so if you're creating transaction id for every transaction that happens so every course that's purchased in coding blocks if we uh, make like a transaction uh, for that now those numbers would go in a sequential manner and uh, the distribution of numbers that start with one and with uh, you know uh, all those numbers they uh, will they follow benford's law or not uh, can you think of it okay and you would come up with a really interesting answer uh, to that uh, if the numbers have an upper bound then benford's law will not apply so if all the numbers that exist so for example uh, the distribution of the amount of marks that uh, 100 students have got in an exam now that would generally look like a bell curve with a lot of people near the middle and less people towards the beginning because they would not have gotten uh, a lot of marks and uh, you know less uh, numbers towards the end because not a lot of people would get 90 plus marks but a lot of people would get 60 70 percent uh, marks okay that's a bell curve now there there wouldn't be the maximum number of uh, people getting marks within the 10 to 20 region is not going to be true because that's a bounded value that's the number you can get marks only from 0 to 100 but where uh, the boundaries are not there where the rate of growth is uh, exponential and uh, another thing about the uh, you know uh, benford's law is that it's generally applicable to only those set of numbers where the med the median is higher than the mean okay uh, so that means of course there are a lot of numbers which are towards the lower uh, values and less numbers towards the higher values now means are less than medians uh, in places where the numbers actually grow so that's the benford's law um, it's I feel like it's a really interesting law to know uh, because a lot of times we uh, come across you know using Benford's law, I have found some people even asking interview questions like, you know, I have taken the areas of uh, the cities of top 100 cities. Uh, if I have to guess, uh, if I take any one of those and I want you to guess the number with which it starts, can you guess which number would you pick? So if you pick one, uh, you are, you know, uh, have a you know higher probability of getting it right you have probability of 33 percent of getting it right now especially in um, you know business school interviews and statistics interviews this is a question that gets asked because they want they want to know that whether you know about the benefits law or not but apart from that i think uh, from a uh, machine learning perspective and data science perspective as well if you're taking naturally growing values we can actually uh, add the Benford's law into our uh, training model so that uh, if it generates you know uh, synthetic values then they they are generated keeping Benford's law in mind so the numbers that are generated don't look like fake numbers they look like real numbers and as I said you know in financial frauds a lot of times it is detected that if a set of values don't follow Benford's law then it's probably not a naturing set of, natural set of values it's somebody has created fake transactions in that place. Um, hope that uh, you know you find out which found that interesting and if you did not know about Benford's law now you know that uh, we'll come back and discuss about more such interesting mathematical uh, laws in some more videos on this channel uh, if you like that you can share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel